And now time to answer some common health questions. Joining me is News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Saria. He's the chief of emergency medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center. Always great to see you. Well, you too, and We've I love kind your of been, today. Well, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, trying right. to certainly show support October. for the cause. October already, can you believe it? I can't. Oh, man, time flies. Uh, first question, this is really a serious one. Is it true that drugs for insomnia increase your risk for dementia? Yeah, you know, there have been a lot of studies in the past, or at least a few, but a recent study in the British Medical Journal, actually, and it was a good one, actually shows that it does. Now, you know, as we get older, we get more insomnia, we get a little bit more anxiety, and so a common medication or medications that are prescribed are the benzodiazepines like Restoril and Xanax, and then of course Ambien for sleep. And what they did was they followed patients over the course of about 15 years, and they saw a direct correlation to where those patients that were taking the medications gotcha. had a 60% greater risk of developing dementia than those that did not. So obviously dramatic. Now, so the bottom line is, is that the longer you take it, the more risk you have. Short-term experts will tell you that it's safe, all right, but as long as you have a plan to transition to a more natural method of sleeping, so get a better sleep habit, take them in the short run, don't rely on, rely on them in the long run, and I think you'll be all right. Gotcha. Let's talk about snoring. We probably all know someone out there who snores. Is it, though, kind of an indication of a health problem? You know, uh, it absolutely is. As a matter of fact, more and more studies are showing this. And what they're actually saying is that it's more of a health risk and a risk to cardiovascular disease and certainly to cerebrovascular disease of the carotids than smoking, being overweight, or even high cholesterol. And what they tied it to was a thickening of the lining of the carotid arteries in your neck. And that, and then in turn, is sort of a precursor to atherosclerosis. Now, why we think that is, is because while you're lying down and you're constantly snoring at night, that vibration of the mm. neck is just like trauma to those vessels, and it's causing inflammation and thus scarring and thickening. So uh, get checked out, basically. So you what absolutely you're need to get checked out. In other words, snoring is not just an annoyance. An annoying you, factor sure or laughable. Your yeah. You bet. All right. If you have a question for the doctor, you can send it in by going to our website, WPTV.com. Click on the health link. Scroll down on the right-hand side. You'll see a form to write your question. We look forward to seeing those. Thanks so much for doing that, and thank you, Dr. You Surya, for coming in.